Hey guys, what's up? Roto here. And this is one whopper of a request. But I thought it was going to sound really fun to do in video form. So I figured I would do it. Now, let's see. Hold on, let me get my request page up. Right, right. Okay, Dragon Quest question one. Oh, how ironic. Um, could you make a video on Quest 147? A.K.A. the location of all nine stamps. Alright. Quest 147 is an interesting one. It starts by talking to, um, the, 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 what's his face, Sterling. Okay, and then you have to get eight other stamps. You can't use Evac or Zoom, and you can only land the Starflight Express six times. Alright, so, how does this quest start, you ask? Well, alright, alright, alright. Well, if you follow me, it will lead you to all the answers you need. Now, Sterling gives you the first one, which leaves us for eight. So, you will be following me as follows. First step is we're going to be flying to Batsareg. Remember to uh, press R for some good old choo-choo. Yeah, I know, I make a great train sound, don't I? Alright, hey Batsareg, what's up? Okay, now the first guy is right in a tent in the back of the village. Right here. See? Okay. From here, what you do is you have to f you fly to the heights of loneliness. Well, yeah, so... Now, not many people really remember what the Heights of Loneliness is, but really, it's the technical name for the place that you had to go through to get to their rocks. So you just straight up fly south. And there's the Heights of Loneliness, so I'm going to curve around and disembark. Alright, now I go right inside, and here will be the gorilla number three. Alright, so, now we get number three. The next one is, uh, we gotta walk to Bloomingdale. So, to Bloomingdale we go. Bloomingdale is just a short walk from here. Just gotta dodge some of these monsters. Okay, go to the next area. Watching out for slimes, admiring the flowers, so pretty. Watching out for Minotaurs. Oh no, what have I done? Ugh. Whatever. Oh my goodness. These guys are whooping on me. You know, it's a good thing I just got a message about my videos are being allowed to be longer than 15 minutes now. But don't, just because I say that, that doesn't mean I'm allowing you guys to, uh, give me incredible requests. I just actually enjoyed the thought of this one. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I probably could have used Mercy to kill these guys. I'm so lazy. Okay, monster's dead, moving on. No, off, and I guess you see me in a random encounter, so. Alright, so we're almost there to Bloomingdale. Now, this guy is pretty uh, intricate to find. I encounter him on accident throughout my game just by going to that area. Okay, what you want to do is you go here to the church, go up the stairs. And he will talk to you.
And there is gorilla number four. All right, now we need to find gorilla number five. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Sterling's Whistle. And we're going to head towards where the game all began, Angel Falls. Daytime. All right, now the word Angel Falls. We're going to go up to the waterfall up here. He's at the very top middle of town. Here he is. And he is number five. That leaves us with three more to find. Okay, now, sadly, this isn't on your track. Right. Okay, we're not walking to Stormway, we're actually walking to Coffinwell. So, just uh, play some rockin' tunes, and uh, we'll be there in no time. Just a little, uh, Little jog, hopefully no more random encounters. You'd think all the monsters in this area would just straight up run for me. But they're uh, little tough little buggers. Or at least until I hit them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it take you back walking through these old areas though? Go through where the star, where you first found the starflight. Talk to the lady with the kids about the slime quest. Now we're here in the area of Stornwell. Stornway, my bad. I mixed Stornway and Coffinwell and made Stornwell. It's like a destroyed town that has pieces of both of them just all there and s just sort of mayhem and destruction and I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm sorry, I'm just mumbling now. Mm -hmm. Kamiyama's like, did you really need me for this? You could have left, left me back at the end. This could, this could have been a solo request, Brodo. And I'm all like, nah, brah, you're coming. Going to the bridge. It, it magically became fall. Don't you love when that happens? Don't you love when the seasons just go whoop? New season. All right. I'm such a good singer. Alright, whoo! That only took forever. Alright, we're finding. Uh, what's his face? Dodger. I just remember where Dodger is. Oh, there we go. Look over here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, we walked all the way here and found Dodger. Okay, from here, we're gonna use Sterling's whistle and go back into the sky. Now we're gonna fly to All Trades Abbey. Choo choo! All Trades Abbey, the home of all things vocational. And I'm terrible at controlling the Starfleet, apparently. Alright. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. 
Okay, so... Oh, here we go. Here's Cribber. One of the coolest named guys I've ever seen. Cribber. <laughs> it's freaking sweet. Yeah. Okay, so now, from Cribber, we're going to fly to Wormwood Creek. Remember, we still have two, we're, able, we're still able to land the Starflight two times. So, now we're heading to Wormwood. Is that? That's what... Wormwood. Gosh, I've always been calling it Wormwood. It's Wormwood. You think, for what I've done with Dragon Quest Nine, that I would remember simple places like names of towns, but nope. Okay. Now this guy is going to be in the weapon shop. So... Go in the weapon shop. You can always remember this town as a town where everyone hated you and then everyone loved you. There we go. Forger. Gortress Gorilla number eight. Alright, do you know what that means? That means we have one left. Yeah, high five. Don't hit the screen. Alright, so. Uh, items every day. Sterling's whistle. All right. Now we're looking for the last member, Digby, who will be where the Gortress gorillas were formed. Bops at the Gortress. I don't know if you remember this place, but he will be at the tower where you could have ran up where you could have ran up that made so much sense where uh I don't think you actually had to go to the very top of the tower but if you wanted to you could have so there so head in here take the dibbly do stairs and voila Okay, so, at this point in the quest, all you do is use Sterling Zosa once more, and press B and go inside the Starflight, and talking to Sterling will end the quest. So there you go. Hope you, uh, hope anyone who was wondering where all the people were and didn't want to look for, um, an FAQ and wanted a video tour an adventure, as you will, with my wonderful commentary. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this quest and any other quests that I may help you out with. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace!